This is Rick Yates, Technical Services Manager for GGS Pro and Griffin. Today's short video, we're going to cover some uh, PGR options for garden mums. As always, it's important to read and follow the entire pesticide label, and the labels do change, and often without notice. Some growers would prefer to be able to apply a PGR to the unrooted cuttings, given uh, the propensity for garden mum cuttings to stretch quite a bit in propagation. The B9 and Dayside labels give you two options. Um, one would be to uh, submerge the cuttings entirely in a thousand part per million solution. In that case, you allow them to air dry before you put them under the mist, stick them, put them under the mist. The second way would be a stem dip. In this case, you're just dipping the stem end in, and then you lay them uh, flat and cover them with uh, muslin or cheesecloth. You might even try row cover fabric if you have that. And you place them in the cooler overnight before sticking them the next morning. Whichever method you choose, it's important to point out that the uh, people that are doing uh, this, either one of these techniques are considered applicators according to the, um, the, the growth regulator labels. And as such, all of the applicator personal protection equipment requirements apply to them. Once the crop's underway, um, you have an option to use the B9 or Dayside as foliar sprays. And I think with the genetics that have improved so much that it's seldom that really require a 5,000 part per million application. So I suggest that you start off at 2,500 parts per million and see if that gets the job done. You can repeat that application two weeks later. Uh, we can tell you from experience that uh, making multiple applications at 5,000 parts per million will delay the bloom. The other concern is that we like to stop. Once the buds are about the size of a pea or a little larger, we like to stop making overhead applications with B9 or Dayside because it can cause uh, clubby flower heads. It's most pronounced on daisies, but even the decorative mums, you can see this, and that's where the flowers kind of open up back to back and you don't have a very attractive flower display. Just a caution that outdoor applications of B9 or Dayside in the state of New York have to be made to container grown mums, which most of our folks are doing that with garden mums. Uh, some growers prefer to use top floor as a foliar spray. One of the unique aspects of top floor is the fact that it um, produces almost black green foliage. It's, it's just about as dark a green foliage as you'll see on a chrysanthemum. Make sure you trial it. See if you like that look. Some people like it, uh, others not so much. Um, the range of rates I'm going to recommend is, is 15 to 25 parts per million. And if it's your first time, I suggest a 15 part per million spray. And really, it doesn't make sense if you're not familiar with this PGR to go out and spray your whole field. But I think it's unique enough in its effectiveness that you want to at least run some trials on a, on a good selection of varieties to see if that might fit in for the future for you. The most commonly uh, applied plant growth regulators to garden mums are uh, drenches of either bonsai or piccolo, and there's some other good products out there with the same active ingredient in them. One of the advantages is at the recommended rates, we don't see any bloom delay whatsoever, and we see little or no reduction to bloom size. Um, you can see the range of rates there, and the earlier in the crop cycle that we apply it, the less we need to use and uh, that's a benefit when we're trying to save money on a, a crop that's not uh, overly profitable in most cases and um, we'll show you a slide with uh, a visual representation of that in a minute. I do want to remind the growers in New York State that neither bonsai or piccolo or the other uh, product with the same active ingredient uh, can be used in outdoor applications. So what we're seeing in this picture, and we want to thank Joe Moore from Lucas Greenhouses for providing it, is a case where two of the Garden Mum variety brandy were grown identically. And the only difference was the date of a one part per million bonsai drench application. And you can see that the early treatment at August 8th produced a beautifully shaped plant and a minimum amount of PGR required to achieve that. And the same treatment made a month later was just the, the cows out of the barn uh, at that point. And it it's, it's much too large and most of our growers are growing uh, a lot of the same varieties year after year and they st get a pretty good idea of the PGR requirements um, of the different varieties. So I don't think it's risky to go in uh, and make an application, let's say in this case, August 8th to a plant that's not full size yet because they know the history of the variety, know it'll need some regulation. So I think this is a reasonable practice. 
If you have any questions about today's video, you can use the contact information on the screen to get a hold of GGS Pro. I'd love to talk to you. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, we'd like to hear that as well. Thanks a lot.